In Western Oregon, Mike Peel's juggling two jobs at once. He leaves Danny in charge of harvesting poles so he can set up his next job site a half mile down the road. For that, he signed up logging legend Dwayne Deathlifts. Hey, Paul. After one of his cutters quit. I hate to see you take off, but at 30 bucks an hour, I can't blame you. He pulled Dwayne out of retirement. I'm glad to have you back on, and, and also, it's nice to have you back around, too. Thanks. Yep. I appreciate it. Dwayne's task? Clearing the site's alders before the rest of the Peel crew arrives in two days. It's been a while. Been off so long, it'll take me a month to break in this time. I'll work until I start stumbling. I know when I'm getting unsafe. My body will tell me, my mind will tell me. Mike Peel's hoping that despite some tough years in and out of the woods, Dwayne's experience and expert cutting skills will save time. Now, the ones we're going to try and take are those big furs over there. Start out by laying some of these right across the yeah. road. Yeah. So I can get in here. Also, we're not getting any younger, so don't put yourself in a spot you're going to have a blowout. No, I don't want an accident. In the 40-some years I've been playing this game, I haven't rode to the hospital yet in an ambulance, and I don't want to. I'm going to cut a few trees get warmed right. up. Thanks, Mike. I'm gonna See you later. Yep, Thanks for you. work. Yep, you bet. Dwayne's a pro, but has the veteran logger still got the magic touch? I'm... Alders are unpredictable, and with Dwayne cutting them solo, this job could be over before it starts. It's been a while. These swooping alder trees get the old blood run through the veins pretty good. 60-year-old Dwayne may be winded, but the veteran logger is giving a master class in precision tree falling, showing exactly why Mike Peel hired him. As a rule, six to eight trees ahead of the one I'm cutting in my head. Basically, I'm not just going one tree at a time, because it's all got to come together at the end to where it'll all lead out together. See, I've, everything today's been basically the same way, and I've backed right out. That'll make it much easier for him to yard it if the butts are pointed at the yarder. It's just like you took a big comb and just combed them out there. That's what it's supposed to look like. When that tree splits up and breaks off, you got to basically wait until the tree decides what it wants to do to move to get in the clear. Because if you move prior to that, you don't know if you're moving into danger or away from it. It's a situation we try to stay away from. As Dwayne knows all too well, splitting alders is perilous and unpredictable. That's a barber chair. After all these years, still makes me a little. But other than my shorts, I'm okay. This is kind of like riding a bicycle. Once you figure it out, just get her done. After escaping the dreaded barber chair unscathed, Dwayne's nearly done for the day. Boss man Mike Peel checks in on his new hire. He's getting older, and that's all right. He may not be fast, but the way he's dropping those trees is going to save us a ton of time. I think it's time to go find cold beer. I love logging. I'll probably never hang up the woods. I'll probably never quit it. 
I said once before that I would cut timber until I was 75 years old and fall over dead and call that retirement. But I'm a long way from 75. <laughs>